All of you probably know the famous pageant Miss Universe. You know, the one that's broadcast all over the world, internationally and everywhere here domestically in the United States. Yet, although they are indeed very popular, they just recently said something very, very stupid. They claimed that not all people who menstruate are women, and it also shared inclusive language guidelines to their Twitter page, claiming that it wants to instruct the public that people have periods, not women. Miss Universe even shared on Twitter, inclusive language is important, especially when speaking about periods. Thinking menstrual health is only a niche topic for women excludes transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming people who have periods from the conversation. And first of all, before we get into the responses, let's unpack this word vomit that was basically spewed. Biological men cannot get periods, and biological men can also not get pregnant. Speaking otherwise is denying basic biology that is taught to us in high school, but maybe leftists or other stupid people fell asleep during class. The responses to this statement kind of restored my faith in humanity, though. Sarah Hale Smith responded, I promise you that Susan B. Anthony, Alice Paul, Lucy Burns, and other suffragettes didn't struggle for women's rights so that the term women could be erased from our language. Notably, I have yet to hear anyone refer to people with prostates. Discussing whether or not first wave feminism is good or bad is a whole different video, but I do think that this is an important response. Jim Tracken also responded saying, you really do a disservice to humanity for openly spreading false information. Only women menstruate can get pregnant and can have children. There are no exceptions. Calling yourself a woman when you are a man is not inclusive, it is just false. Stick to pageants, you are good at them. While pageantry has brought up many important viewpoints on many issues that are seen as controversial today in society, I do partly agree with this statement. I do find it a bit of a, of a steeper slope when it comes to either the left or the right trying to define or classify misinformation or what it means. I wanted to pause this video real quick by giving a shout out to our Patreon. Our Patreon is patreon.com slash redlibertymedia, and it would be really great if you could consider supporting us so that we can continue making content just like the video that you are watching right now. Anyway, let's get right back into the video. It is sad though to live in a time where the term women and female is being erased in society. Pageantry is, suppo is supposed to celebrate women, not erase us. Maybe if Miss Universe wants to try and lecture us about periods, they should maybe change their name to Person Universe instead of Miss Universe. People are so tired of speaking the truth nowadays and I'm getting really sick and tired of it. I feel like as a biological woman as well, true womanhood is being erased and super downplayed in society, where now it's just a feeling or a costume that you can put on whenever it might be suitable or convenient for you. There are sometimes pressures of comparison faced in society where we are constantly comparing ourselves to other women, but now young women are comparing themselves to biological men. We are drifting as a society further and further away from the truth. Women have been given the gift where we've been crowned by our creator to give birth to eternal human being, an innocent soul, something that men just cannot do. And then people will probably say, well, what about, wo about the woman who can't give birth? Don't you dare use a woman's trauma to try and justify your feelings. To end this video though, a piece of advice that I would give to the younger generation is to stand up for yourself and to young women. Femininity and modesty is a beautiful thing. Don't let it get erased while degeneracy runs rampant in our society. But anyway, that's all for me. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to Red Liberty Media's YouTube channel. You can also check out the description box down below for links to my social media accounts where you can stay up to date with me. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Gab, Truth Social, Everything will be posted down below. Just make sure that you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Truth Social, because those are the places where I'm most active. But anyway, that's all for me. My name is Kira Bulby, and from New Mexico, God bless, and take care.